So being a female in the automotive world can be um, can be difficult, but less so now. I seem to have kind of got a bit of a career out of it. But when I first started, yeah, people just didn't trust me. Um, even when I was on shoots that weren't car related, it's like especially if you're female or if you're quite young as well. You know, some of the um, people coming out of university are so fresh with their you know their their ideas, and you know females especially um, you know have this different view. Like I think I've, I've got a little bit more of a romantic view of the automotive world and. You, it, it can, there can be barriers and basically we just need to push through those barriers and go no I know that what I'm producing um, is going to be good and you will like it and um, yeah so it is just trying to have confidence in your own work to be able to say no I can do this I will do this. So I fell into the automotive sector. Um, my dad is a big car guy and likes motorbikes and um, I wasn't really that interested, but I think that was a great thing about it, when I, especially when I started. So I love shooting people and so I shot weddings. And then when I had this opportunity to photograph this amazing, this amazing car, I took all of that knowledge from shooting people and weddings and applied it to cars. So I had no real interest in the cars. I, I, I wasn't thinking I need to make sure I've got you know the front three quarters and you know I've got this and that in because I wasn't that interested. I didn't really know. So by having that lack of um, knowledge and those limitations meant that I looked at it from a fresh pair of eyes and a totally different way. And I suppose yeah, from the people side, a more emotional, romantic way. So networking is by far one of the most important ways to uh, you know, generate clients. The amount of times where I've got jobs, not because they've stumbled across my website or my Instagram, it's because they have spoken to somebody or they, I've worked for them before and they've moved jobs and you, you make friends, you end up getting on and not because you think, oh, you might be helpful in the future, but you, know, you just enjoy people's company and just simply by talking to people, making friends, keeping in touch, saying hey when you're at events, they are all, honestly, the, the best way to continue getting work and to get new work as well. Because people introduce you, they're like, oh, hey, you know, Amy's quite all right to, to work with, you, you'll have fun. So it is people talking as well that will get you these clients and will continue to get you clients. Okay, all right, I'll think about this one. Okay, yeah, so, um, Favorite project is a really hard question. There are so many because it depends on who you're with or what you're doing and you know what you're shooting. So for me, I think one of my favorites would have had to have been last year. I worked for BMW on a road trip called um, the Great Mile of Malay London, and we went from the most northern point of Scotland to the most southern point of Cornwall um, on motorbikes through some of the you know the UK's best roads. And I've got my camera on you know I'm on my motorbike and not well, on a BMW, and I'm just riding along thinking, huh. I'm getting paid to do this, this is amazing. And it's just, I think some of the, the opportunities and the adventures you get to do are, you know, in my world, so amazing that, you know, you do have to pinch yourself so many times. And so, it's so it, that, that job was so good. I'm doing it again this year, just for fun, because I thought this is great. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yes, okay. So my setup at the minute is I use my D850 with a 35 1.4 nickel lens on uh, one side and then I've also got a D5 which I use with my 85mm 1.4 nickel lens as well. I have just, like last week, got my new Z7. So I've tried out the Z6 and tried out the Z7. For me, the Z7 for the photography side um, is the best. I'm still using at the minute the adapter with my own lenses, um, but as soon as um, yeah, I can get my hands on a 35mm 1.4 lens uh, from the Z series, um, the Z line, that's, that is going to be probably my setup. Because when you are shooting adventure things and you know, I'm trekking through an airport and you've got quite a heavy load on your back, just the you know the weight of it, and also the I got a, um, a photo printed from the Z7 when I when I tested it, and the printer sent me a photo back of the print saying, "What did you shoot this on? This is amazing!" And honestly, the, especially when you're shooting on the largest format of the Z cameras and the Z7, like it, it, the the resolution, the clarity is just pretty mind blowing. So yeah, it's going to be. I think it's going to end up replacing. I don't know which one I've got to get rid of, but yeah, it's definitely going to be on one of my hips.